Hey guys, so I thought it would be time for a review video. Um, I haven't done a proper review video in forever, so I thought I would do a product review um, on these lip glosses that I've got. Um, these are the uh, Tanya Burr Exclusive Collection by Eye Candy Lip Glosses. I bought two of them. Um, there, I think there are 12 lip glosses in the range and then 10 nail polishes if I'm correct. I bought mine at feelunique.com and it is a British website uh, but they ship worldwide. If you buy over £10, they ship for free. So I was pretty excited to try these out and let you guys know what I think about it. And also because she is a YouTuber and um, I always I want to support my fellow YouTubers um, with all their product launches and stuff like that or I try to do it as much as possible because you know it is amazing what YouTube can do for someone so um, the nail polishes are six pounds I believe and then the lip glosses are seven pounds so they are not well they are drugstore uh, price range anyways so I bought two I first one is Picnic in the Park which is a really pretty pink and then the other one is Champagne Toast um, I also kept the packaging so um, I know <laughs> I think everyone knows her but yeah this is the packaging there was like a plastic in it and then the lip gloss what was in it like this so these lip glosses um, so what I first thought of them were they are re pretty nice. Um, I'm actually wearing Picnic in the Park um, without any lipstick or whatsoever underneath it. So that this is the color. Um, they do have a very strong sweet strawberry scent. I'm not too keen on like a really overpowering scent. I can like this strawberry scent. It kind of over almost overpowers my perfume what I'm wearing. So I'm not too keen on, on that. Um, they don't taste like anything, so they don't taste the sweet strawberry scent, um, like the strawberry scent, that's why I tried to say. I do think the scent is a little bit overpowering. The opacity of the lip gloss is like, it's not that really, it's, it is a little bit sheer. I'll just swatch um, this one for you guys because I am wearing it. And that's a swatch of it right there. As you can see, it just it is a little bit sheer. So if I probably want to have a good color payoff, I'll probably wear a lipstick underneath it that's a similar color to this. And then Champagne Toast, it's entirely sheer. Well, not entirely, but it is pretty sheer. I, I, I would say if you would wear this on your own you would just see a little bit of shimmer no color whatsoever um, so that's champagne toast I will probably if I would be wearing champagne toast I will wear it over a nude lipstick um, just to keep like give it that little pop of gloss over the lipstick I wouldn't wear these um, on their own to be honest maybe I would wear the picnic in the park on its own when I have like a really like low-key day and not just like oh pop some lip gloss on I will probably do that um, they do feel really nice on the lips um, they don't feel sticky or anything like that so that's really nice um, I also like the packaging quite a lot um, it is just sturdy plastic and I like the clear and then the black it's just really nice and just sleek looking and then there's a little heart on top of the cap as well um would i say is it amazing no probably not i, I wouldn't say it is absolutely amazing um especially the color payoff it's not as nice as i would have thought i mean look at the glosses in the in the in the packaging like it is really nice and then when you swatch it it's almost not noticeable it's pretty sheer so I wouldn't wear this on its own uh, I would wear it over gloss uh, over lipsticks which is kind of, which kind of sucks because if I want to wear glosses I usually wear them on their own um, 
I, I wouldn't I don't really like layering too much because it look like it feels really thick on my lips I do layer occasionally though when I I feel like it basically but um, yeah would have recommended for seven pounds um, each mm, I, I, I don't know it's a little bit difficult to tell um, just because I don't think they're amazing and the strawberry scent is pretty overpowering if you love sweet strawberry scents I would definitely buy it but this strawberry scent is kind of reminds me of like a, a kids um, makeup or something like that I don't, I don't want to to offend her but it's just the strawberry scent is really overpowering it's, it's super strong so yeah what I say you definitely have to have these in your um, collection or these are must-haves probably not um, to be honest there are better lip glosses out there that have the amazing um, color payoff and the no stickiness and stuff like that and they're probably this kind of price range anyways like I really like the um, liquid lipsticks the apocalypse from Rimmel they are amazing and yeah and they still have that glossy finish or just like lipsticks with a satin finish maybe it's just because I've been a real lipstick person lately but um, yeah I, if I would buy these I would definitely wear them over lipsticks maybe other colors would be much nicer I don't know but I picked up these two because they appealed to me the most and I will probably will use them but not on a regular basis or they will going to be my favorites um, unfortunately not I'm sorry but yeah I can't say well this is really amazing and blah 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 just because she's on YouTube I, I'm sorry I just can't do that I have to be honest about um, the my opinion about these products so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this review video if you have any other requests of um, product reviews that you want me to do please leave me a comment down below and also let me know if you have tried these out or if you're planning to try these out let me know what you think in the um, comment section and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys